who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about all these countries. In this small series, I would therefore like to give you an overview of those countries of the world. This includes a brief overview of the most important data on the political system. And today it's about Guinea-Bissau. The official name of the country is Republic of Guinea-Bissau or an original Republica da Guinea-Bissau. The national languages are several, that's why I'm naming them this time. The official language is Portuguese and the colloquial language is Criolo, that's a Creole language, and various West African languages like Fula, Mandinka and Palante. The form of government is a semi-presidential democracy. The head of state is José Mario Vaz, with limited powers after his mandate expired on June 23rd in 2019. The Prime Minister is Aristides Gomez since April 16th in 2018 and the current Foreign Minister is Dr. Susi Carla Barbosa since July 3rd, 2019. According to the Constitution of 1984, Guinea-Bissau is a presidential republic since 1991 with a multi-party system. The President is elected for five years after an absolute majority vote. On December 29th, 2019, the former Prime Minister Umaro uh, Sisoko Mbalo won the presidential election in the second ballot with 53.55% uh, after he was still far behind his rival Domingos uh, Simones Pereira in the first ballot with only 27% and the other one had 40%. Pereira achieved 46% in the second ballot and did not recognize the election result. On February 27, 2020, Mbalo sworn himself in as president. However, the parliament appointed the parliamentary president Cipriano Casama as interim president, who, however, resigned a few days later after death threats. The legislature consists of the National Assembly, the Assemblea Nacional Popular da Guinea-Bissau. 100 of 102 MPs are elected in 27 multi-person constituencies using proportional representation. Two seats are reserved for nationals abroad who are elected in the two constituencies of Africa and Europe. The last parliamentary election took place on March 10th, 2019. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.